<laughs> oh, I love me the show on Super Sport. <laughs> Welcome to Seeing Through Glass. If you've been following my recent videos, the road trip in my 360 is now over and you find me in France. I'm here because 10 days ago, Bugatti emailed me. Actual Bugatti. The email said something like, Dear Sam, we'd love to invite you to our headquarters so you can get a feel for what Bugatti's all about and experience what a customer would experience if they came to the factory to spec one of their cars. Oh, and after that, why don't you go for a test drive in one of our Chiron Super Sports? I replied to that email in less than a minute, saying yes. Yes! Now look, I'm super lucky to do what I do. This is not the first time that an amazing manufacturer has invited me to their headquarters to drive one of their incredible cars. But for some reason it feels differently when it's Bugatti inviting you. Maybe I just feel differently about Bugatti. In my mind, they're elite. They are ultimate. They are super exclusive. I don't actually think they need PR, so I'm not entirely sure why I'm here, but I'm very grateful that I am. Of course, Bugatti has an incredible history, but over the last 15 years or so, they've been responsible for making two of the most iconic hypercars of all time. Of course, the Veyron and now the Chiron. They're both iconic and rare. They only made 450 Veyrons, they're only making 500 Chirons, which means seeing one, let alone driving one, is not something that happens every day. And on top of that, because production numbers are so low, very few people get the chance to step inside Bugatti HQ here in Molsheim, France. And just like their cars, Bugatti's headquarters are like nothing else. Check this place out! I don't feel like I'm at a car manufacturer HQ. I feel like I'm at a kind of friend of a friend's chateau in France. An incredibly wealthy friend and a very nice chateau, but you know, it's just, it's breathtaking. What's so special is that this is the original home of Bugatti. It's not somewhere the Volkswagen group have purchased. It's a bit of a, a fad, giving you that kind of faux feel of history and heritage and exclusivity. This is where, back in the early 1900s, it all began, and Ettore Bugatti would hand his cars over to customers. And it just feels really, really unique. Now this building here is called the Remise Sud and it was built back in 1788 and as you can probably tell it's where customers come and spec. Yes, their Chiron Super Sports. Here's our first look today at the car I'm going to be getting behind the wheel of. Actually, not the exact car. Apparently, I'm going to be driving a white one. This is a black one. Absolutely nuts. We'll come back to it in a second because it's not the only crazy thing about this room. Firstly, we've got this big flickering screen, which is going to be where we're going to be configurating my Chiron Super Sport. But look at all the things lying around in this room. Just to note, they are all made by Bugatti. These speakers, Bugatti. Actually, they're so insane that even the remote is so heavy. That is metal. It weighs about what well, it feels like five kilos. The chairs are carbon fiber. Here is an iconic W16 engine, which by the way is massive. I don't think you necessarily realize when you're looking at the show on just how huge this engine is. But yeah, on that plinth in here, absolutely mind-boggling. There are more of those carbon fiber chairs, a beautiful table. We've got a bar today with croissants and refreshments. Then come look back here past the Super Sport at the luggage set. I've never wanted bags so much in my life. Absolutely stunning, as is, of course, yes, 
the super sports as i say this is today's main show and i'm here to get the experience of specking my own chiron super sport this is going to get very expensive very quickly I think most of you won't be surprised. I've gone brown, but not any brown. That's brown carbon fiber. And it wasn't even that hard to stumble upon. I was like, oh, Yosha, have you got brown? He's like, what about brown carbon? I mean, unreal. Loads of aluminium touches. Uh, this being Bugatti, that's not painted to look like aluminium. That would be actual aluminium. Uh, so I like that because it really sort of pops and breaks it up. It's a semi classical look I guess you could say so Yosha thank you very much you've been very helpful so far at spending my make-believe money um, but you said that we're about to come on to the interior which is where you can have a lot of fun with individualization oh, wow, that's a tough word to say on a hot day individualization <laughs> so talk to me what, what are our options because it's already a stunning interior but what, what can we do now so you can basically do lots of things also in the interior so first of all you can choose between the materials for example now here we have the dashboard in, in carbon fiber but you can also go for uh, alcantara leather carbon fiber like a mix of all you can have different tones that reflect also the dual tone of the exterior if you go for this okay. but like the individualization program is really like having logos on the headrest or like sketches uh, in the door panel for example we did this uh, several times um, sketches like sketches of my dog or sketch, like what, yeah, you, what are you sketching basically yes you could have also really? a, a sketch of your dog but normally we go for like Bugatti related things so basically it's like the history of Bugatti like okay. the iconic models of the history or from the modern time to the past um, we, but we also had a customer for example he had a very personalized sketch that was reflecting let's say his life also in combination to the Bugatti story so this was basically very nice so we can basically print the sketch or we can also stitch it in the door panel so we go for both, this is no problem. Okay, well, I'm gonna need a little bit more time to think, think about yeah. that, because um, that feels like a big decision, but I feel like an easy one would be the, a name on the headrest. And if, if I'm trying to buy a shoe on Supersport, I need to convince my wife yes. first. So, so yeah, maybe we, let's put her name on the headrest, yeah, for sure. and then I might win that battle. Yeah. <laughs> um, so how do we do that? So I will prepare this, so I will write the name in the handwriting and then we will put it into the... Into the oh, okay, uh, super cool. Oh, wow, okay, so uh, Victoria is her name, V-I-K-T-O-R-I-A. And it's literally your handwriting that ends up in the car? Yes. Wow, okay. So we can, we can do a couple of... Uh, variations. Variations. This is going to make her very happy. And just because my ego is big, can you do one that's STG? STG. Yeah, there we go. So that's, that's if I decide that I don't want her name and I want my brand instead. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, super nice. So you're literally just sit here sketching with customers, playing around with different designs yeah, and things like that. Exactly. And then eventually that gets embroidered, uh, embroidered yeah. up onto the headless? Exactly. Oh my God, I can see how we're going to spend a lot of money in here. <laughs> but yeah, okay, well, I didn't realize we're going to have a lot more to think about with this car. My spec is nearly there, but yeah, I'm going to have to basically work out if I like seeing through glass more than my wife. Um, thank you for your help so you're far. Welcome. Let's continue. <laughs> Well, it's about an hour later. I finished specking my dream Chiron Super Sport, had a quick bite to eat. Now it's finally time for me to get behind the wheel of a Chiron Super Sport. And here is the car in question, looking stunning in white with that extended long tail. Oh my God, I am buzzing with excitement. Now joining me on my drive will be Andy Wallace, the man responsible for well, the world record, the 304 miles an hour in a Chiron Super Sport. I mean, it's 1,600 horsepower. 1,600. 
And that 1600 horsepower makes this the most powerful Chiron ever. It's 100 horsepower more than the Chiron Sport I drove a few years ago in Florida. The Supersport is most noticeable by its extended long tail and the outlets in the front fenders, all of which are aimed at reducing drag and keeping the downforce balanced. Now, whilst the Supersport was responsible for the crazy 304 mile an hour world record, the production version of the car is actually limited to 273 miles an hour for obvious safety reasons. Uh, Andy actually briefly explained to me that around 300 miles an hour, so many forces are being applied to the car, you can't quite fathom all the variables. Michelin even found out the wheels were physically changing shape at the crazy 300 mile an hour speeds. A full tank of fuel would only last you around eight minutes at that speed, but still take you around 60 kilometers down the road. Now, as with all their modern cars, the amount of testing and engineering that goes into creating each Bugatti is mind-blowing. Whilst I have driven the Chiron Sport relatively recently, I couldn't wait to see how the latest and greatest Bugatti felt on the road. That's the first test there, right? Yeah, I have. Thank God, I'm allowed to drive now, yeah. So I'll let you, like my driving instructor, let me know where I need to go left or right at any time. So right at the roundabout? Right at the roundabout. <laughs> I feel like I'm 17 all over again. <laughs> the thing which always blows my mind about Chiron is how easy this is. Actually, Bugatti's in general. I'm driving now like I'm in my Audi RS6. It's all just very straightforward and unintimidating considering what it can actually do and achieve. And I love that about these cars. Right at the roundabout again. Okay. Are we going on to what we would call a motorway? Oh God! <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to take it a little bit easy on the uh, on ramp because I think if I blitz out of here at 300 kilometres an hour, people might get a little bit scared. Okay, I'm at about 30 percent throttle. This thing is really picking up and ready to go. There's just always power available. I really wasn't trying there, I was just joining the motorway and the thing suddenly was like, oh, here we go! It wants to blast off at jet speed, it's outrageous. So if I just bring us down a little bit slightly, i just do a bit more of an acceleration. Here we go, boys and girls. Oh! <laughs> it conjures up power just out of nowhere, but you do, do kind of hear it and and sense it building. It's not like literally a sort of an electric car where there's that instant talk, but it's so rewarding because you hear this, and by the way, I'm accelerating very gently, but you hear this all coming and then it just delivers it and you are launched another 10 kilometers down the road before you know it. Oh my God, I'm already sweating and I haven't really pressed the throttle more than 50% yet. One of my big dreams in life is to do a long distance road trip in a Bugatti. Uh, lots of you, I think, are subscribed to Harry's Garage, Harry Metcalf's channel, and he recently drove a Chiron Pure Sport for, I think, I can't remember if he said it was 500 miles or 500 kilometers, but through Wales and things, and I just, I think this would be the ultimate long distance car to drive this from, well, here, or even from the UK to Turkey. Ah, oh, what a trip. I mean, you'd be there in about half an hour. <laughs> It's the fact that you've got this comfort, these luscious materials, this dry carbon and this leather, this beautifully simplistic layout, and then the knowledge that you can just demolish anything in front of you. Here we go, truck pulling out the way. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, <laughs> it was, they wanted to kick down again, and I was, I was a bit nervous for that one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna come off now. It's. <laughs> The thing is, it's almost intimidating because you know what it can do, but it's not intimidating in the way it delivers it. It's not squirming and squirreling all over the place. It's not jumping around. It all feels very controlled, but when it really starts to pick up, I don't think there's any car in the world that gives you the same acceleration sensation at 100 kilometers an hour. Fine, naught to 60 these days with all these electric hypercars, there's things that launch off the line fairly quickly, but that was, 100 to an undisclosed speed, just way too quickly. Right, I've told myself I need to stop prattling around and take things a bit more seriously. So, I'm in manual gear mode selection. We're in the kind of highway setting on my, I'm gonna call it a Manatino, Andy might wince there, which is why I've 
popped him out of this shot because yeah. Wins, I, wins. yeah, I refer to it as a Malatino, it's probably not the original name, but anyway, yeah, so as we get past this slightly sketchy looking tractor, let's see what this car is like on a, on a twist to your road, I mean, performance is definitely not something it is lacking, I mean, but it's here, look at this, around corners, well, oh my god, <laughs> And between corners, oh good lord, between corners, yes, as silly as you could ever imagine, but those brakes are great, and again, the car is just, it's its kind of perfectly poised, it's not super twitchy at the front end, it doesn't feel nervous, it feels planted and secure and refined and ready to, yeah, oh, take off, oh, I'm going to keep using that word, I think I've probably used it about 15 times, but... It's the only way to describe it. it. Honestly, think about when you're sitting in a plane and you're about to take off down the runway. It's the same sensation you're feeling on your body. Oh. oh, but it's exhilarating out here. And that's what I loved about that Harry's Garage video. It gave you the sense that a Chiron can actually be a B-Road blaster. And look at this, here we go. We've got a little bit of a hill section. So imagine I'm at Goodwood, Fessler Speed, going for the record. I do feel like I might be able to achieve it in this car. Oh, yes! Oh, I love me the Chiron Super Sport! Wow! What an experience. A huge thanks once again to Bugatti, to Andy for facilitating, for allowing me to do this, to drive that car. There's a part of me which is like, oh, I didn't really get to drive it long enough. I wanted to experience it in lots of different ways. And I was only just starting to really get good at driving it or get used to driving it maybe. And then obviously we had to head back here, but that's fine. That's fine because I still drove it and very few people around the world are ever gonna get the chance to experience this thing. And also quite interestingly, it's not actually a sort of press car in the traditional sense. That's a customer car that is very kindly being allowed, well, Bugatti are allowed to use for sort of demo or press activities. It's a very different system. So yeah, you can't just go and put thousands of miles in that car like I would like to, but yeah, absolutely mind-boggling. And in my mind, Bugatti are living up to every expectation I have for them. They are the best of the best at this kind of stuff, this ultra super powerful hypercar world and yeah i was gonna stare at this for a little bit longer well if i didn't want the car badly enough already look at what you just done there we go vicky's gonna be very happy now might let me actually buy the car and then look at that stg on the driver's seat sold sold sir yeah. where do i why do, i can't pay anything yeah, but okay no thank you for doing that that is very special to see a pleasure i think if you were actually coming to collect your car and it had that embroidery, it would be pretty amazing. So yeah, thank you for everything. Thank you yeah. for the experience. You're it's been welcome. super special. You're more than welcome. And usually if we have a customer here that uh, configures his car, so I will give them uh, a little souvenir. Um, so this is a little oh sketch my. for you. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. Oh dude, thank you. Well, I'm gonna frame that. It's the closest I'm gonna get to having a show on yeah. in my life. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're here. Hopefully see you again soon. See you soon. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.